What's up guys, it's Mo, and today I have a, another Cricut tutorial for you using Pixlr. So let me go back to the home page here. I already kind of went in. Um, today, we I have Inkscape open because I'm going to give you a measurement. You don't need Inkscape at all. I just have a measurement that I need to give you for us to do this um, tutorial. So don't worry, you don't need Inkscape at all. Uh, we are going to create an offset around a PNG image. I have joined a ton of uh, Facebook groups recently. Um, a lot of doodle shops have Facebook groups and some of the shops will offer a little like, freebies in their groups. So I have been creating uh, little doodle sticker sheets for myself um, recently to pass the time here and I thought I would share with you an easy way to do it because you can't create an offset in Cricut Design Space. Inkscape is often hard to use. You can't download it. It's confusing, etc. And if you don't have Silhouette Studio uh, that allows you to make an offset, then uh, you may run into a few problems trying to cut these guys. So uh, we're going to go to Pixlr here. I'm going to go to Advanced Pixlr. That's the one that I have been using. I haven't even played with the playful one. Um, then we're going to go to Create New here. And what we're going to do is we're going to import or Im input our own measurements. And I have Inkscape open because we're going to be working with, oops, it's frozen here. We're going to be working with this um, Caboodle Doodle that was actually part of a Patreon um, printable thing over on Patreon, but I have created a 6.75 by 9.25 rectangle here. That's the print and cut size of uh, Cricut Explore, Cricut Design Space, Cricut Maker, whatever you're doing print and cut on in Design Space, Cricut Explore, Cricut Maker, uh, the print and cut area is 6.75 by 9.25. Now, I'm going to tell you when you, the, the, image size you need to make is going to be this pixels here. This is just a little bit of information. If you go over here and you put in like this, this pixel information here, I, I don't know how to express what that means, but I mean, yes, it, it this image is 607 pixels wide by 832 pixels wide. However, this to be at 300 DPI, meaning getting the maximum um, dots per inch when printing, uh, we need to make our file over in Pixlr be 2025 pixels by 2775 pixels. So you don't really need to know all of that. All you need to know is here, when you click on create new, it's gonna, you can pick one of these guys. We wanna make sure we're making a 6.25 or a canvas that has a ratio that when reduced to 6.75 inches wide, the uh, height will be 9.25 inches tall, if that makes sense. So nonetheless, go over here, enter 2025 and then 2775 and hit create. I am going to make this bigger now. And then we have our blank canvas. I'm going to go to uh, layer, add image as layer, and I am going to go, you can see I have some uh, little downloaded freebie guys. We are going to go to where I have saved, um, I got to find it, Caboodle image, open. I think this is going to be a huge image because I didn't reduce it. Um, before I um, exported it as a PNG. Yeah, it's huge, but that's okay. Whoops, we can just go over here and make this guy smaller. So, now we've got our little caboodle image. Um, I would try to keep these guys, if you're gonna put, if you're gonna make this like a die cut, Great. If you want to make this a little like sticker for your planner, um, maybe that you put over a box or you add in as deco, you want to make sure that you have it kind of um, small on the small side. Like this is probably small enough here. Um, and what we're going to do is we're going to put an offset around this and then we're going to make a sticker sheet. So we will go to filter details. No outline filter outline i was thinking of my uh glitter glitter tutorial there filter outline and now it's going to put an outline around that isn't that amazing we'll just change this color over to white hit okay look at that 
you can make it bigger. I think anywhere between 10 to 16 is probably good. So we can hit apply. Um, I'm actually, let's see, control Z. For the, well, for this video, we'll go ahead and do this. So then you can see that we have this little um, opening here. And in my scripts tutorial, I was telling you to just draw a box behind it and whatever. We're gonna do that same thing here today. So I'm gonna add a new layer, make sure it's empty. I'm going to go over here and change my color to be white, hit OK. Then I'm going to make sure that new layer is um, selected. I'm going to draw a little, or I'm going to select this, which is the shape tool. Make sure it's selected as rectangle and the opacity is 100 and it has fill turned on and we're just going to draw a rectangle here. Now I'm going to take this to the back so it's behind the caboodle. I'm going to click on the caboodle um, layer, right click it, and then hit merge down. That's gonna join these two together so that you don't lose your little um, uh, rectangle filling in that space there. So now we can start to fill in our sticker sheet. The only downside, I'm gonna make this a tiny bit smaller. The only downside to making a sticker sheet in Pixlr is there is no a line. There's no space horizontally. There's no way to make this guy, um, to make the spacing between your Caboodle images even. So you can see I just took this and aligned it up in the corner and these pink lines come up, which is great. That's going to be helpful. So then we can right click on this, or actually I think we got to right click on this thing. Duplicate layer. I'll take this second one and go over here and line it up. Duplicate layer. We can put one in the middle here, duplicate layer. Now here's where it's going to get tricky. We probably actually could fit a couple of these guys in here because there's no pink lines coming up to show you things are aligned. So you kind of have to like eyeball it. So duplicate layer, oops, duplicate layer. Okay, so now, let's see, can we use our arrow keys? Yeah, you can use the arrow keys to kind of nudge things around. So now we have a whole line of caboodle doodles. What we can do is select our caboodle image here. Uh, let's select this one. Go from the layers pane because that's going to put which ones are on top. So we'll right click and hit merge down. And once you do this merge down type of deal, and you're going to do it on all Caboodle layers. You can see that they're all joining together. Once you hit merge down, you're not going to be able to edit that layer again. Um, merge down. So now we have this guy here. What we can do is right click on him, duplicate layer. And you know, you can just keep lining them up like this. Duplicate layer. And actually let's use our arrow keys. I'm holding down the shift key. And now if we do this, um, let's put this on top. I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go ahead and delete this one. We don't need this one right now. So now we can do, well, I don't know if we wanna do that. I was thinking we wanted to merge it down to see, no, we don't wanna do that because what if we need to adjust the spacing? So you're just gonna right click, duplicate layer, Use your arrow keys, duplicate layer, nudge these guys down, and pretty much you're just going to fill in your little sticker sheet. Now you could, we, you could just put an outline around this um, at the normal size of the, the PNG and take it into Cricut Design Space and you know fill your six and a half by or six point two five by nine point seven five. 6.75 by 9.25 canvas, which I'll show you how to do that at the end. Um, but to build a sticker sheet, let's say you have a bunch of different characters maybe that you want to create a sticker sheet with. Um, you can you can bring them in again. Let's see, did I duplicate this layer? Yes, I did. So let's see, let's say we have a different, I'm gonna bring in the same um, image that we were working with. I'm gonna bring in the same caboodle, but let's pretend it's a different image. So let's say these are all the caboodle, caboodle, caboodle stickers you want. You have another little character guy you wanna bring in, like a coffee cup or something. You would just go to layer, uh, add image as layer, 
and then find where you have your coffee cut, cup saved. I'm going to open the Caboodle image again. Again, it's going to be kind of large because I didn't size it down. And then let's pretend this is a coffee cup. We would just size it down. Go back over here to filter, outline. and create our outline anywhere between, I don't know, something like that. Apply, we'll go to a new empty layer, make our square again to fill that box in. Go back over here, bring this down so that this layer 16 is behind our caboodle image. Right click, merge down, and we'll just repeat the process. So this pretending this is a coffee cup image or something. We'll size it to the B, how we want it to be, line it up again, and then do this whole process to make our sticker sheet. So once we have our sticker sheet all filled in, for example, let's see here, we'll go ahead and fill this sticker sheet in like this. So duplicate layer, I think, I think we're in the center here. That's why it's uh, bringing that pink line down the middle like that. Okay, cool. So now we'll go up to this one here. Right click, merge down, right click, merge down, right click, merge down, right click, merge down. Whoops, undo. We didn't want to do that yet. Now we have this whole line pretending they're coffee cups or something. Duplicate layer. Put it like that, duplicate layer, put it like this, duplicate layer, bring this all the way down. I'm actually going to bring these guys down because, let's see, can we fit another? I don't think we can. So let's just adjust the spacing between these guys here. So now we have our whole sticker sheet filled and you can see that it has a transparent background because we can see the checkerboard behind it. So now we just go file, uh, save. We will name this to be Caboodle Doodle Sticker Sheet. Make sure you're saving it as a PNG. Make sure it's maintaining this height and width there and then hit download. Now we'll go open our Cricut Design Space and import our sticker. So I've opened a new canvas in Cricut Design Space. I'm going to go click on Upload. I'm going to Upload Image. I'm going to go to Browse. Uh, we're going to go to Downloads and it should be Caboodle Doodle Sticker Sheet. Open. Complex. I always choose Complex. Continue. We don't have to clean anything up. We just hit Continue. We want to save it as a print and cut image. You can name it whatever you want. Hit save. Select this one, insert images. And then we're going to want to size it to be uh, 6.75 by 9.25. So we'll go over here, keeping our proportions locked. 6.75, we hit tab. 9.248. It's a little bit off, but I mean, not by much. So now we have our um, sticker sheet. And you can even see if you kind of line this up with the corner here. These are just under an inch wide. Um, and then these are about an inch and a half wide. So you can, you know, adjust your sheet as you want, make things visually a little bit smaller, a little bit bigger, however you want to do. Then you hit make it, you know and it'll put your uh, project on a mat. So if you want to go over here, let's say, let's go back over to, I'm watching lots of stuff on uh, YouTube here. Let's go back over here. Let's go file, uh, open image. Well, let's actually, let's not do that. Go file, new image. This time it doesn't matter what size, it, it does matter, but it doesn't really matter what size you choose. I'm going to go ahead and choose full HD here and hit create. Then we'll go over here to layer, open image as layer. We're going to go find our caboodle doodle again, open image. That's going to, again, it's too big, so it's going to take a minute to um, load it in. And if you just want to make 
an offset around this one image and then import it to Cricut Design Space so you have a better idea of um, the sizing uh, that you can make it. So we can just do it like this. We'll go ahead and go to Filter, Outline, Do, do, do. We can make it bigger. If your image is bigger, just make the outline until you feel like it's good. I think this one's probably going to be like about 32. Eh, hit apply. Again, new layer. Make sure it's empty. Go back over here. We're going to draw a rectangle because Cricut, y'all know Cricut is going to try and cut that and screw y'all up. Then we can right click, merge down, file, save. I'm just going to save it as a PNG caboodle. Whoops. Caboodle doodle. Then we'll go back over here to design space. I am going to turn off this layer. Upload. Upload image. Browse. Um, Where is this? Caboodle doodle. Open. Complex. Continue. Continue. I don't know if you can hear my Roomba. He's saying he needs to be charged. Continue. Click on this guy. Insert image. Now we can go be more precise with our um, sizing. So once this guy loads, I'll make him a little bit smaller. And then I'll show you how you can kind of estimate better sizing um, uh, as a uh, in comparison to maybe some boxes that you may have like already printed for your planner. So I'm just going to size him down just to get him a little bit out of the way. Now you can see this says it's 2.701 inches wide. Let's go ahead and enter insert a shape. We're going to insert a square. I'm going to unlock the proportions here and I'm going to make this 1.5 inches wide. If you're using Happy Planner, Aaron Condren, et cetera, this is like the standard width, quote unquote, of a planner box. And then we'll make it 0.5. So this is like a half box maybe in your planner. That's what's going to represent being in your, um, your day uh, column or whatever. You can see if I start printing that, that's going to be too big to put my planner. So let's say if I want to use it as, I don't know, to mark a trip or packing for makeup or a planner event or something like that. Let's go ahead and zoom in. Let's say you use this to mark like when you got to pack up your stuff to go to your planner meetups. Who wants to go to a planner meetup? I swear. I just, I want to go to a planner meetup. So you can see this is probably going to be, I'm not quite sure why it's so blurry, but this is probably a good size for your, you know, covering your half box with like a little bit kind of hanging off to create a little bit of deco, etc. So we can hide this guy and we can go to make it. And obviously it's just going to put one on there, but we can fill the page. We'll put 20 and see what happens. 20. Way not enough. Let's put 100. I think we're going to go onto a second page. If we do, you don't even have to print that second page. Yeah, it did go onto a second page. How much? Two onto another page. So we could fit what? 98? And you can see it doesn't, and maybe it doesn't use up all of the paper, you know, but you're still getting, you're maximizing, you, you have more control over what size you want to make your sticker, and you're maximizing what you can do. You can create an offset around a coffee cup, you can create an offset around this guy, you know, and then make your own sticker sheets that have half coffee cup, half caboodle doodles, half whatever, you know, a sheet that is an assortment of different things. It just it's up to you what you what you want to do. So um, I hope that was helpful. Um, I will leave a le leave a list down below of some Facebook groups that I'm in that have these sort of like printable die cuts, PNG images that you can use to make stickers, die cuts things um, that I've been joining and printing from. And if you did find this helpful, you did like this video, go ahead and give it a like and subscribe. Um, check out a ton more of the Cricut videos I have on my channel to help you make what you want to make with the tools that you have. Uh, that's my whole thing is I want you guys to be able to you know, create the things that you want in your planner with the tools that you have, which may be a Cricut Explorer or Cricut Maker. Um, so yeah, let me know what other kind of videos you want to see and I will talk to you on my next video. Thanks for watching. Bye.